Okay, this was so much fun to build. So now let's talk about how I did this. The first thing that I did was I went ahead and downloaded this program called Minecraft Noteblock Studio. I'm gonna link this in the description down below. Once I had this all installed, I went up to file and I did import MIDI. And if you don't know what MIDI stands for, it means Musical Instrument Digital Interface. So taking the MIDI file of Peaches by Jack Black, I went ahead and imported it and this menu pops up where I can change the instrument that I would like the note blocks to play. I'm just gonna keep it at the normal harp because I think it sounds really good. Now I want you guys to notice that this is not going to be the exact tempo that the song is at and that is okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit import and you're gonna notice that the note blocks show up in this program. And then if we look up in the top right, it's going to say this song is not compatible with Minecraft. To fix this, we're gonna click on that and it's gonna show us that the tempo needs to be either 2.5, 5 or 10 clicks per second. If you go ahead and click fix tempo, it's going to fix that automatically and it's gonna output exactly what you guys will hear later on. So with that done, we can come up here and we can hit play and you can hear it play. Except as I was editing this video, I realized you guys couldn't hear anything at all. Sorry about that. After that, go ahead up to file again, and we're going to actually export this as a schematic. So using a program like World Edit or Lightmatica, I was able to import this schematic. I'm not going to go into details on that because there's already a lot of really good videos that explain how that process works. But once I had the schematic in here, I was able to build this up in this kind of pattern. The first thing I did was I laid out a very basic stone platform and started placing in the stone blocks and how they would need to be arranged in order for me to place the note blocks and all the redstone. I also added in this platform that we will walk along so we can hear the note blocks as it's playing. Next, since the harp sound is played through note blocks when a dirt block is underneath it, I went through and replaced all the spots of stone that needed to be dirt with the corresponding block. Now this was time consuming, but honestly I had a lot of fun because I just put on a podcast or watch a YouTube video and just went about my business. Next, I was able to take some of the redstone components like these redstone repeaters and plug these in along with a little bit of redstone dust and the redstone torches at the front that are going to activate this entire mechanism. And then once all the redstone repeaters were in, I went through and added in the rest of the redstone dust underneath so that way the signal can then travel through and then all that's left to do is add the note blocks. Now the note blocks were the most time consuming part of this because I had to make sure every single note was correct to what was given to me. Uh, to help with that, I actually used the Vanilla Tweaks resource pack to help me see which note they were so I didn't have to second guess on what I was clicking on. So shout out to Vanilla Tweaks for making an awesome resource pack. And then with that completed, I had to top this build off with a pixel version of Bowser because Jack Black was probably one of my favorite parts of the Mario movie. If you guys haven't seen it, you need to check it out. If this song does not win an Oscar, I think we riot. Building this Bowser pixel art was so much fun along with this entire build. If you didn't notice, the entire song from Noteblocks played during those time lapses. So what did you guys think? Do you want to see more Noteblock videos at all from me? I really had to do this. This was such an amazing song and I really, really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. YouTube thinks you guys will like one of these videos. So go ahead and click on one of those. If you want to see more of my content, don't forget to check out my links to social media in the description down below. But I'm going to get out and out of here, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Always remember the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys.